Hey, how's it going? What is going on guys? It has been a while since I've done a video. Took a little bit of a break from YouTube after our race season ended. I noticed that we have a lot of new subscribers, so thank you guys for, for subscribing. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of rock bouncing. We're gonna do a little bit of rock bouncing today, but uh, you already know what's going on by the title and the uh, thumbnail. We're gonna do some cleanup because it is fall up here in the White Mountains and I can't even see the park anymore and there's still a bunch more leaves to fall so i'm gonna do a first round of cleanup that way i don't have a big giant mess at the end and uh yeah we're gonna take a quick walk around show you guys what's going on i'm gonna let the atvs pass all right so i pretty much have not been down here since finals which was in september early september so uh yeah i've been busy with uh life and uh just doing some other things so uh, yeah, the park's a bit of a mess. There's kind of weaves everywhere as usual. Like I said, I'm doing the first round of cleanup right now. That way I don't have a big giant mess at the end. And uh, when it comes spring, I know I've said this many times, but this is the whole reason that I do the cleanup at the end of the year is uh, when it comes spring, early April, we usually have our season opener. And I usually do not have a lot of time to get the park ready before the first uh, race. So uh, this kind of helps me out with not dealing with frozen wet leaves uh, when it comes to spring. And of course, I still want to play. So we're gonna uh, set you guys on the tripod, cue some music, and I'm gonna go up to the very top and start at the top and throw you guys in time lapse and we're gonna clean this place up so we can go rock bouncing. Crap, that was way more leaves than I thought. I got the park back. For those new to the channel, there are 11 hills here, plus a couple of short course sections. Another one over there, plus random obstacles everywhere. But uh, yeah, sorry about the sun, but. A little bit of cleanup. I still gotta get rid of this stupid tree, but that's not gonna be in this video. I had to get a new chain for my chainsaw, or sharpen it, one of the two. But, I'm going to go back up to the top again, and uh, go pick a bouncer. I might bring two down here, in case one of them breaks. But uh, Well, I went and got Blue Dream. Uh, Screaming Blue is broken at the moment. It's just a steering link, but I haven't gotten a new one yet. And Cockroach is still good to go, but I kind of want to figure out what's wrong with uh, Screaming Blue. Or uh, Blue Dream, I mean. I got too many freaking bouncers named Blue. Anyway, uh, the last, at finals it did great, other than me not making a couple hills, but the bouncer did great. It was uh, the Sunday after that it got heavily beat on uh, with Matt Higgins and Cam and everybody else that came over. I went pretty hard on it, and uh, yeah. It's not making the greatest noises, but it's still moving. So, we're going to see how it does, and uh, if it breaks, I'll go get Cockroach and uh, finish out the video with Cockroach. But, uh, yeah. So, here we go. Probably going to throw you guys on the tripod, give you guys a 
quick glimpse at uh, some non-edited footage. And then uh, we'll find some hills in the shade and try to get some uh, good slow-mo footage. All right, so we're going to come over here and run these three. Well, try to. A lot of these hills are pretty dug out because I have not done anything since uh, finals. And if you're curious of what the noise is, might have a... Oh, there we go. Yeah, my motor is definitely uh, not very happy, but whatever. I'm going to order a new one anyway. Wow, that really doesn't sound happy. It didn't sound that bad before. Well, if it's going to break, it's going to break. Whatever. Here we go. <laughs> trying to jump the gap but the camera's kind of in the way It is really not happy. I feel like a noob out here. I haven't drove this thing in almost a month. And it keeps cutting out. I think my ESC or maybe it's because the motor's not happy. I don't know. It keeps cutting out when I go on full throttle. All right, try another hill. We'll come over here. I'm trying to stay in the hills that are actually in the shade. You guys can actually see them. Jesus, that was a fight. Well, we're gonna come over to Learning Curve, which is probably one of the hills that is not gonna be here next year. Hint, hint. So much dirt on me from that.
stupid stick. All right, now to one of my favorite hills, Water Hazard, which has been remodeled. As we found out at the last race, that spot right there is uh, very hard. If you're new to the channel and have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about, you can go back and watch race five footage or uh, race six footage from finals and uh, yeah, you'll see. Well guys, like I explained in the last episode of Hill Ninja News, which was my last like actual real video before I took a break, uh, I don't know how many videos I'm going to be able to get in during the, uh, the winter. Winter's coming fast up here. Anything over 2,000 feet already already has snow. So we already got snow in the mountains already. And I am talking to you and driving one-handed stuff. So. But we're going to see how many uh, more rock bouncing videos we can get in before all the snow comes. And of course, as long as we don't get buried in the first snowfall, you'll see some uh, snow bouncing videos. We're going to hit up uh, one more hill on the way out and then uh, probably end this video out. All right, let's see if we can make them all. We'll go with the easiest one first. Stay out of your guys' view. Hey, how's it going? Ah! I saved the camera. It's my last lens. Oh, please hold while I reset. Ah, you guys still recording? Oh, look at that, you are. All right, now we got you guys in a better spot. Let's try that again. I knew that was gonna happen too. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna take the camera out going down Trump's wall. Well. I don't know if you guys are actually going to be able to see it all the way from over there. Eh, kind of. Alright, let's try it. Oh, Reefing myself. Nope. Just so you guys get an idea how big it is. Somewhere around chest height. It was like four and a half feet, but it's been filled in a lot, so. Oh, that's a big root. I didn't even see that. All right, we'll try this side. Nope. Oh. All right, guess we're going up there. I'm guessing that's what I hit. Hmm. It is a little bit dug out in the middle. Oh. Lipo cut off. Well guys, we are back in the shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Later.